Hey everyone, so I now wanted to take you through my camera kit. Originally, I started off shooting on a Nikon D80 with an 18 to 200 millimeter lens. Uh, it was my father's actually. And it's really, you know, the lens itself is really great because it's so versatile. You have a huge range. You can go really wide to really zoomed in. Um, it's just, you know, solid build, nice and compact when it's at 18 and when you zoom in, it gets a little bit bigger. But as I continued shooting, I started to get into uh, prime lenses and really enjoying the look of prime. So my first purchase was this 50 1.4, um, which just means it, it's really, really fast, really sharp. Uh, I can see in low lighting um, and it's a great, you know, super compact lens. There's no zoom on it, um, but it really is a great way to learn what prime lenses are all about and it's really cheap i mean i got this thing for maybe just over 200 dollars which on the grand scheme of things isn't that bad um as i got into event photography though i did see a need for zoom lenses and the 18 to 200 because it's an f 3.5 to 5.6 it doesn't do that well in low light situations so i decided to get a 24 to 70 f 2.8 lens which is actually the one i'm using currently to shoot this with and it's a great just sort of overall mid-range zoom lens you, you know 24s wide and 70s a little more telephoto but it's just a good practical lens to have and i i think most pros or just most photographers really love this lens because it is just that mid-range and, and an all-purpose lens um as i've continued to evolve my package um, another lens that I picked up was this 105 2.8 and this is a great portrait lens I really enjoy shooting portraits with it I also enjoy shooting landscapes with it actually because it um, gives another perspective but you really have to go you know walk a, a good ways back to get that shot um, another reason I love this guy is that it's a uh, macro lens so you're able to I mean, I can focus about that close with it, and it's pretty incredible what you can do with it. Um, so, you know, that was my next purchase. So I have my mid-range 24 to 70. I have my prime lenses um, that can see, you know, that shoot a little bit sharper, a little bit faster. And the next lens I got was this 70 to 300, uh, 4.5 to 5.6. Really, you know, big telephoto, big zoom. Um, it's pretty good make but it's not the sharpest lens out there it's also you know 4.5 which it's not that fast and so if you do have low lighting uh, it's not ideal but really most of the times I used it was outdoors so it worked fine for me um, I'm currently actually hoping to invest in the 70 to 200 f2.8 vr2 it's such a beautiful lens it's so sharp it's way bigger than this guy um, but it's just quality build and so, you know, it, it takes time though. This guy's a lot cheaper than that 70 to 200. I also have this Nikonos 5, um, which is a great underwater film camera. Uh, it's a little more technical to use and I use it creatively, but it's really not something I go and use on a photo shoot just because it has a very specific look and, you know, film's just more expensive these days. And my Nikon D800 actually, it just has so much information there that I, I just love using that camera. Um, it's actually in the shop right now getting cleaned but it's a great quality build and it's definitely on the professional end and it costs a little bit more money, but it's just, you, you pay for what you get and it's a really great camera. Um, the last lens in here, you know, is this 28 millimeter. I actually got this in the Czech Republic when studying abroad and it's, I believe from the 1970s. And, you know, the reason I love Nikon is that you can use these old mechanical lenses on any camera. So, so this goes right onto my D800 and you know it is manual focus but the look is is just really nice so I really I love this lens. Um, other than lenses uh, there's a few things that I've picked up over the years. Um, one is my f-stop bag which I love. I'm able to go backpacking with it. I'm able to go on uh, long travels with it and it just you know I'm able to put everything in here. Um, it has this cool little compartment back here where you can access everything. You have pockets up top, you know, you have tripod holders, you have just everything you could really ask for. Um, it's a great, great bag. I also have Pelican cases, which, you know, in some weather, you need that extra level of protection. So I highly recommend a Pelican case. It's just 
an all-purpose, you know your stuff's safe, you can throw it in the ocean and it'll stay safe. Um, obviously, I don't recommend you go do that, but if need be, it, you know, that's what they're built to do. Alongside that, I've picked up these guys for my memory cards. Um, they just keep them nice and safe and, uh, you know, another Pelican purchase. And really, that's most of my camera kit. Um, some people have flashes. I don't really work with flash photography all that much. Um, I would show you my tripod, but the camera I'm shooting on is actually currently on it. So those are a couple of the other things in my camera kit, but we'll be going over all those in the next few videos.